I'd like to share something with you that, well, it's been pretty meaningful to me. Did you know that possibly the greatest speech ever given has no original document? The greatest speech lasted only a couple of minutes, and this speech is one that is still taught in our schools today and quoted in the news. This speech is still as relevant today as it was when it was given. <laughs> ever since Lincoln wrote it in 1864, the particular version that is most often reproduced and notably on the walls of the Lincoln Memorial is still in Washington. In fact, it is the last known copy written by Lincoln and the only one signed and dated by him. Today, it's on display in the Lincoln Room of the White House. It's written, four score and seven years ago, our forefathers brought forth on this continent a new nation conceived in liberty, dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now, we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We've come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hollow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note nor long remember what we say here, but it can never be forgotten what they did here. It is for us, the living, rather to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so notably advanced. It is for us to be here dedicated to this great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last measure of their devotion that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, that the government of the people, by the people, and for the people shall not perish from the earth. It was written by Abraham Lincoln, President, Republican, November 19, 1863. And may I say to you and your family, the very best of Independence Day to you and yours.